I'm taking a walk in my apartment complex because I need to clear my mind. I need to clear my mental space. I need to clear my spirit and I need to ground my energy because today just happens to be one of those days where it's not okay, but it's okay. Today, I don't feel like joking. Today, I don't feel like playing. Today, I don't feel like making fun of my pain and coping in that way. But today, I didn't pick up a bottle of alcohol and drink myself into a drunken stupor. I didn't call nobody and cuss them out. I didn't seek revenge. I didn't ask for an apology or try to get an explanation from those who have hurt me in my past, hell, even in my present. I cried today and I let those tears cleanse me. And believe it or not, this is like my fifth walk today. And I'm going to take as many as I need while <laughs> I still got sunlight out. And, you know, it's not dangerous for a woman to be walking, you know, or anybody for that nature. I felt alone today. I felt lonely today. And I cried about it because I did. And I didn't pick up the phone and talk to anybody, but I did pick up the phone and release that off of my chest by making a video or two like this, discussing how I was feeling, what I was thinking. And as much as you can start to heal from the things that you've gone through and the pain that you felt, that pain can still be there even though it can ease over time. It can probably even to the point where you're so spiritually and mentally and physically strong that if that thought came up, came up you have the mental capacity, the spiritual capacity, the, 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 the go-ahead to leave it right where it lies. Some days I can do that. Some days I can't. And I make these videos for myself on my journey in hopes that they also reach others to help them on their journey because you never know what life you can save by expressing yourself. You never know what could happen in such positive ways that can help change the world even, you know? I know that when I was going through things, I loved watching social media, even if it's flicking through hours, because some of those videos that others made were helpful to me and my growth process. And when I didn't have anybody to talk to, when I didn't have anybody I felt I could trust, when I didn't want to talk to anybody, I was able to look at videos that were discussing how I was feeling at the time, what I was thinking at the time, and it, it helped me. It helped me. You know, I've suffered through many of things, many of things that try to destroy me or bring my self-esteem down, self-image down, comparing myself to others, wandering why didn't they love me? Why did they leave me? Why was I treated unfairly when I didn't do anything to these people or to this person? Whether it be family, friends, 
co-workers. And then I looked at some of my behavior when I had too much to drink. When I was out there getting suit, suited and booted. And how I would treat strangers when I was off the chain. And the things that would come out of my mouth that they didn't deserve. I didn't know them. You know, you ever been somewhere where you just acting a, a fool for no reason because that's how you feel like acting. And that shit ain't good. But you have to take a look at yourself as well as look at others. You have to accept the things that won't change just because you want them to because they can't. And change the things that you can, but stop trying to change other people first without looking at yourself. I had to go through that process. I had to go through that process from time to time and remind myself that it's okay not to be okay. But you can't stay in that energy. Staying in that energy hurts you more than you realize. Staying in that energy causes more mental anguish And then you start repeating the coping mechanisms that made you try to take it away. But really, it doesn't take it away. It makes it worse. You ever had a night of drinking after being so emotionally distraught that you did all kind of messed up things? And the next day, not only did you wake up with a hangover, maybe even throwing up. You notice that those problems didn't go away. In fact, they made it worse. And then when you start remembering the fool that you made out of yourself the night before. And that mental overanalyzing kicks in. See, some people don't really give a damn what they do. And they don't think about the consequences uh, when it comes to the actions of which they took. Especially those that don't really have empathy for other people. So when they go out and act a fool, it ain't nothing. And if it is, they may never admit it to you, but I'm not that type of person. I care about other people. I care about myself. I've put myself behind caring for other people so many times in life that when I started to put myself first for real, for real, that's when life changed for me. That's when life started getting better. But what happened was I kept self-sabotaging. I kept thinking this is too good to be true. What happened? You start losing the blessings that spirit blessed you with, provided you with, gave to you. Even more than you asked for, thought of, put in action. Because you're telling yourself whatever you're telling yourself. And where the energy goes, where that thought process goes, that's the way it flows. You, you, you take that, that chance of going out and say, I'm just going to have a celebratory night. And that night just turns into you fucking your shit up. Getting DUIs, losing jobs, keep inviting that same people, person, or place back into your life that you knew, that you know better not to do. And then the next day, what do you feel like? Absolute crap. You know why? Because you knew better. And sometimes it takes getting it wrong a hell of a lot of times until you get it right. But when you decide enough is enough, it will be enough. When you decide my worth, my sanity, my peace ain't worth that, you'll stop. When you go on the brink of losing everything, if you haven't already, you'll get it right. And you won't let anybody come between your blessings again. Even if it takes you a couple of times to get it wrong. So, that's what's on my mind. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm feeling. And I wanted to share it and Put it out in the universe because 
I deserve to be loved. I deserve to be treated well. I deserve to have people, places, and things in my life that serve me well and me serve them. I deserve to have equal give and take. I deserve to have reciprocity. I deserve to be forgiven for being stupid. And I deserve to give other people that same grace. And things that I can't deal with anymore, people I can't deal with anymore, places I can't be at anymore, I deserve to let them go and be fine with that. Just like the same could happen and they feel or think about me. The same thing. So, it's just one of those days, y'all. I'm going to keep this train moving because right now it's not time to stop. So, I need that positive energy. I ask that you keep me in positive thoughts and send that vibration, that high vibration of love because I really need it right now. I really do. It's your girl.